what's up guys um, working on the Mustang again today and y'all missed a lot well, I would say a lot but y'all missed some stuff I'll get y'all caught up real quick okay as y'all can tell we got the engine set in the car um, had a friend come over and was just like why not so we set it in the set it in the car but it was dark so um, I didn't really see recording it was doing any good um, got the valve cover fixed up here with this this hole um, I basically just took a, a, a sheet of metal like a little piece of tin and cut it to fit and just riveted it in place and then I just put some RTV over the top of the hole Yes, that's very, uh, I don't know, I'm never really worried about it. Um, when I can find valve covers, I'll replace them, but right now I'm having a hard time finding some for a, a decent price. So hopefully these will not leak all over the place. But for now, they'll work. Um, same way on this side, where it was cracked in the back, I just put some RTV right there. And fingers crossed that it seals. Really hadn't got to hook the engine up yet. I just set it in um, while I had some help. Oh, sorry guys. But we got some uh, some nice mounts to get rid of those old crusty ones that were flopping all over the place. Um, I got to get the AC delete or AC compressor delete thing um, or idler, whatever you want to call it get some stuff hooked up but I gotta take a lot of stuff off the donor car to get this thing finished um, the exhaust from the donor car is going on this uh, the convertible cars they come with like uh, factory frame stiffeners um, probably gonna use that use those on this car um, I probably wouldn't source those up if I didn't have them but since I have them you know why not <laughs> um, yeah, I got to get like all the fuses and relays because this car was like parted out and someone stole all the fuses and relays. Um, what else? Just a bunch of stupid little things like that. I got to get the fuel line off the donor car so we can get some fuel to this thing. Um, put a battery in it, see what works and what doesn't work. Um, hopefully everything works. But I'm going to get some th things knocked out real quick and uh, we'll see how far we can get with this. All right, guys, we're in the Mustang. I've been working on this thing pretty steady for about two hours now. Um, ran into a small issue with the anti-theft system. Um, the, the car that I'm putting all the stuff on, uh, the guy wanted it for the engine. He took the engine, the original ECU, and a bunch of other little knick-knack things. Got all that stuff figured out. Um, and I was getting the anti-theft, you know, the rapidly flashing light. So I took the the tumbler and the ECU and the body modular from the convertible car and had the car and had all, all in the new car and it still was doing it and there's like some reset procedures and stuff you can do tried those they didn't work um, but I changed the cluster I was reading um, so change the cluster off the convertible car onto my onto the new car and it worked it went away so just that easy I got like I said I got now I have the tumbler working, the key working, the key fob working, so you know. So a lot of doors. Um, so all that stuff's working. And like I said, we're gonna try a test fire for the first time. I'm pretty sure it's gonna run, but we're gonna see. Um, as I spun the car over just to get oil primed when the Epcot theft was flashing, but I haven't tried to do a fire up. Um, I had the fuel line disconnected, uh, hit the ignition, let it prime fuel, uh, hook the line up, fuel pump's on, so it should run. Anti theft lights off. We're gonna give it a shot real quick. Hold on. So, this will be the first attempt at starting. I still got a lot of stuff I need to hook up, so I'm not gonna let it run. I'm just gonna test fire it, and if it fires, I'm just gonna shut it off. Here we go. Oh, got press the clutch. Jeez. Smart guy. Alright, here we go. Hey, 
all right so to me to me that's running um i still got a lot of stuff i need to hook up um i need to get my belt on there i need to get um the mass airflow on here um the exhaust of course like there's no o2 sensors right now but that's proof of theory right there it'll run so i'm gonna take a quick break uh run and go grab some gas um grab a few little odds and ends and get back and get this thing finished up it's hot jeez but yeah it's working so fingers crossed it's actually gonna work out all right but all right i'm gonna get back at it all right guys we're picking up with the mustang project right where we left off like i said we got the anti-theft all that stuff straightened out i did have to go back and change the uh fuel pump drive i think is what they call it um for some reason you crank the car up it run for a second and immediately and, like just like shut right back off um like i said just seen on forums and stuff like that where people saying that could be the issue whether that was like related to the anti-theft and stuff i don't know but we changed that out we got it running so the fuel pump drive uh the cluster the tumbler the uh tumb you know the key reader um the body modular whatever you want to call it and the ecu all from the convertible car just get this thing right <laughs> but it's coming together we got the engine in um got everything hooked up for the most part i don't have a radiator for it but i have one that i bought for the v8 rx7 that i'm going to try to make work um uh, main thing we're gonna work on today is like the small stupid little stuff like uh, for some reason every car I get there's like some issue with the brakes the rotary powered FD um, the rear brake caliper was like the piston got pushed out of it it's just it's always something the Z the guy sold the brakes off of it so we get to go through the headache of bleeding brakes again but this is the brake caliper on the passenger side you can see it's kind of chewed up so we're gonna take the brakes and south then that that rotor is that's that's garbage so we're gonna take all the brakes off the uh convertible car so it's no big deal brakes look good on it and some stuff we picked up for the car we've got a cobra front bumper these are the braces off the convertible car the convertibles come with like these chassis braces like I, said, I wouldn't have bought these but i have them so i'm going to use them the exhaust that was on the white car is like some flow masters, you know, some hacked up, cut up stuff. So I cut that out. This is the exhaust that was on the convertible. So I'm going to use it. It was damaged. Um, like, so this is where the car got hit in the back. It like crushed the pipe, but I'm just going to hammer this out as best I can. Cut the, the good tip off and just weld a tip like this on there. Not this particular one, but just something with some length so he'll fix it where the pipe is oval. so that should take care of that and that should be it so in this video I'm gonna get some of this stuff bolted on maybe get the radiator and stuff put on and uh, get this thing on the ground and maybe actually finally get to drive it but we'll see how far we get but here we go guys let's get started all right guys we got the brake switched over as you can see there's a lot more uh, life left on these rotors the pads are not the best they're a little thin but just to get the car complete and working so we can figure out what we got and what we need and all that good stuff without spending too much money got the line all hooked up um, of course I did the driver and passenger side uh, let's see so got it all knocked out but we're gonna move on to the radiator get this figured out I've got the flanges for the stock uh, exhaust manifolds. We gotta get these bolted up and uh, basically hook the exhaust up to the factory X pipe, which is already hanging out under the car. And that right there will hook up to the exhaust that we're gonna use. So I'll probably like hack this stuff up to get the, the pipe that I need. Um, like so I'm not just trying to put this thing together this budget is friendly these look like they'll probably make that little bend and come down so we'll probably use this i don't know i might try to do something a little nicer but we'll see but yeah that's where we're at um gotta get the brake booster on because the car the i guess the guy needed it and kept that so i gotta get the brake booster on get the brakes bled get the radiator in get the finish the exhaust and that's pretty much it we don't have a whole lot more left to do you know so we're getting really really close um Got to button up stuff in the interior, like put stuff back together. But 
I need to get tires for this thing. But for the most part, it, like I said, it's uh, it's coming together. Uh, oh, I got to figure out the clutch too. I'm having an issue with the clutch to where it's not disengaging. So I know there's like some stuff with like an adjuster, and you pull up on the pedal and some weird stuff, but it's not working on this car. So I got to figure that out. So that's a bummer. Basically, just finished putting the interior back together and getting stuff cleaned up. I need to put the tail lights in it. Let's see, I gotta fix this little bit of damage. Not that I really care, but I need to get it pulled out so the tail light will fit better. As you can see, it's kind of pushed in a little bit, so. Basically, you can probably hook a rack, you know, strap, ratchet strap to this and kind of pull it out and get on the inside and knock that out. So. All right. Yeah, that's where we're at, so I'm gonna continue working and uh, get this thing done. But right over here, like I said, it's the radiator that I'm going to use. I got some fans. I don't know if I'm going to use them or not. But it looks like the radiator might actually work out pretty good. So we'll see. I'm going to flip this thing around real quick. But yeah, like I said, this is the radiator I'm going to try to make work. Um, it's nothing fancy. I think it's off like an old Ford or something like that. So it's the one that I kind of had just sitting in the V8 car, so kind of fits down there nicely. So try to get that thing mocked up in here real quick.